Hello, this is Tina. In this video, we're gonna do the exercise, which is uh, display everything in the shopping cart. Okay. Uh, after we add it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, here, how about we change this service to be a CART, the shopping cart. So when we click it, it will display everything on the page. Okay. So now let's go and change. Let's go to here. Let's do a change. Okay. Uh, let me close everything first because I don't know what it is now. So we have to go to the layouts and then we go to the navigation, right? And we change one, this one to be called the uh, show. Uh, let's just call cart. Okay. And here link, we will go to cart. And then we have to go to our router, which is a shop. And here we add one called uh, router dot uh, gate. And then we using cart. And we will do some. Uh, suppose we go shop control the gate cart. Okay, like this. And then the export, we have to export this name inside our controller, which is shop here. We add one, which is here. Let me format a little bit. Export start get a card, then equals request response next. Okay, next thing is here we have to get all the items from the shopping cart, right? So uh, get a shopping cart, sorry, get a shopping cart. And uh, here in our cart, which is here, we just return this one is good enough. Okay, so here we just call the get a cart. Okay, so we go here. Um, we go here then we using cart dot get a cart then it will re return our cart item to us right uh, with this way with current our project setting it cannot be an array here then we push like uh, at like us uh, like we did inside uh, the uh, shop because uh, in this way we have to uniquely identify a shopping cart right without a session which is impossible because uh, every request comes to our site there's no it's a stateless we have to remember which user comes then in order to give their shopping cart that's why here we don't do an array push the thing inside okay uh, then here we can use in const cart equals this one, right? Then what we did is we can do is res dot render, and we are gonna render cart dot ejs, okay? And we have to give cart cart, okay? Uh, then we can give uh, what we can do is we can give easier is using uh, let's just give cart, okay? cart and we also need to give those things otherwise it doesn't work you know we always have this problem okay here we will give a shopping cart detail shopping cart detail okay and the parts we are using cart then the cart that uh, uh, navigation will be highlighted and next step is we just using this one right and the two more concise, we can do like this way. Yo, oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, then we don't need this. Shopping cart, when we click, it just go to the cart EJS and we will display everything in the shopping cart. So the cart, we have to create a cart.ejs. Here we create one called the cart dot ejs right here is for cart later on we can refactor which is like add a product edit a product and those can become the functionality between uh to the admin so if you want to refactor you can put you can 
Oh, excuse me. You can create two view uh, to another package uh, called uh, uh, admin and the shop and add edit uh, everything related to admin. You can put it into the admin here. I don't want to do because not a lot of pieces here. Okay. So next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the structure from the add product and put it here. Then what we are gonna to uh, change is this part, right? This part is what we're gonna change, right? The form part. We just remove everything. Then here we will say product detail, right? Here we will say product detail. Oh, shopping cart detail. And. Uh, we can also give some condition here so if there's no here we can do something like this okay uh, if uh, if cart dot products because here we using cart right because where uh, here here using cart right so cart dot product dot uh, uh, length is equals zero. Okay. Then we can do yes. We will display h two, which is like this. Okay. Then else, then we display something. Here is the end. Okay. So if the shopping cart has some item inside that, what we're gonna do is we will display no item in shopping cart. Okay, here we can do something. No item in shopping cart. Okay. So here let's I don't like this format. I like this one. Okay, I like this one better. Okay. Yo, sorry. Okay, I like this one. Oh, okay. because I, the format installed, it will automatically. Okay, I just said the format I installed, he will automatically do like this. Right? So, otherwise, I will show product detail. And here I will say um, product detail, right? Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. Shopping cart detail. This format I do not like. I, I, I needed to change the format for this one. I installed two. So the shopping cart here, I will, we will do what? We will do a loop, right? We will do a loop, then display everything here. And uh, I'm trying to using a table to display everything. And uh, to use in table first, I'm gonna go and uh, copy something. Okay, we go here and we have a table here. So I'm gonna copy this one. Okay, so we work on this part. Okay, okay. Uh, this part. Okay, copy. Oh, I can use this one. Copy. Okay, copy it. Then we go back and we put it here, and uh, we can remove those. Those. Okay. From here to here, we remove because this is a part we're gonna loop, right? Gonna loop. So now, next one, we don't have a row here. Later on, actually, we can do is uh, we can using um, index probably, but I forgot the syntax about index. So now let's change which one. This one is uh, uh, let's using a product title title okay and the price price and uh, then here is uh, price title then a uh, quantity okay and we can add one more for the future which is uh, for the operation delete okay okay this one is uh, uh, for the future and uh, for this row here we're just using one for now okay and now what we're gonna do is to do the looping how to do the loop we only loop here right this is the part we need to loop okay 
Let me remove those. Okay. How to do loop here using the syntax in EJS, which is for uh, let i uh, equals zero. Let me see. Okay. I less than card dot products dot length. Okay. And uh, I plus plus. Okay. And then I use this one, this one, and uh, this I I can do is here have an end tag. Okay, here I using this way. Okay, and then uh, this one I can using the value, which is like this way. Okay, here I give uh, what's thing. I give uh, equals uh, I. Okay, here I will define a new variable inside this loop, which is late late product. Okay, uh, equals car dot product dot. Okay, look at product dot I. The reason for that is if I don't do that, when I want to retrieve the value, every time I have to using this one, I dot then the ID, the title, everything, right? So here I'm gonna do is display. Why do why do this to me? Okay, this is more time consuming. So I'm gonna using the product, right? Product dot the first one is title, so you in title, and here I will display uh, equals equals product dot uh, price, and uh, we also display one more is this one equals product dot what's thing uh, title price and uh, quantity. Qty. This is what we used, right? And uh, eventually, we we are also has a row. This is okay. We will also at the end. We will also have another tr, which is show total price, right? Tr and tr, and which has uh, th. Not not th, not th td okay td, and this td is called a total price, and we will have another td. We will have another td, td. This td is to show the actual price. To how to get the price, we're using card, then dot. You can go, let me show you where to get the price. Go to the model, card dot get a total price. This one, right? This one, put it here. And we can add a call span. Call span, I think uh, here should be four. Okay, like uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, and uh, one more, one is uh, for this one. So now we are done. Let's uh, test. Okay, let's test. Oh, this one is wrong. Okay, this one should be like this, right? Like this, right? Okay. This place here. Okay, everything for me seems correct. So let's make. Let's uh, go back to where we add the product. Okay. This is where we add, we're using uh, send, we don't do this one, okay, remove, and we're using res.redirect, res.redirect, okay, then here we will go to slash cart. Why slash cart? Because in our shop, here, when we are using slash cart, it's gonna go to this part, right, display all the cart. So now let's do a test. Let me make sure our navigation changed. Okay. 
navigation chain. Okay, good. So let's go and test. Go to the browser, and uh, we localhost 3000 MT as we expected at React price 30 image URL description QQ and then add product again uh, angular price 20 image URL description QQ okay so now we just add a two cards okay here what did it say um, card dot product dot length is not a function uh, then how to check the size of the product uh, how to check the arrays dot size okay just array size okay ah it's a property it's not a function just a length okay so java i think java is a length it's a function okay so hey eh? what did it say it should work right so i have ray i have a length but it is say length is not a function i i didn't did i use a function i didn't use that function oh oh here i use function oh this part is correct this part is wrong. okay so now let's uh we have to add the product again so here let's i think this one is gone okay Add a product. Add a to shopping cart. Here, hey, correct, right? Correct. Okay, perfect. Let's okay, see here. And we add this one, Angular. You will see this one and this one, and we add one more. This one gonna become three. Okay, this is total price. Perfect. And we have to change this one, which is plus one. Okay, let's make a change here. This one we have to plus one. So index time start with zero. As a computer science guy, we always start from zero, zero, right? But now, see here, everything seems very good. Okay. So here, add on one more angular price is ten, and image URL description QQ, and now we add this Node.js, and you will go to this shopping cart detail, and which has uh, one hundred twenty. Everything works. Okay. Uh, three one and two was uh, three one one and if we go back add one more it still works but this one didn't work the didn't highlight didn't highlight this one let's fix that okay didn't highlight let's go to our this one okay in path we give card right the parts we give card oh navigation didn't change so we have to add this thing mm my i think my mouse doesn't work work f good recently okay when i copy it always like this okay this one which is we have to change this one to be cart right so now after we go then we go here okay it's highlighted okay go home and go cart it will highlight it okay and the last one is I want to make a small change and then to test there's no item in our product okay so let, let me add something here uh, oh, sorry, sorry sorry let me do okay restart it okay so restart it here supposed to be empty okay let's go to the cart we should say no item in the cart right so here uh, cannot read the property cart so here probably we didn't initialize so we can do is we can do is change this one if cart equal equals none oh okay so now let's go and uh, test okay no item in shopping cart and uh uh, everything works right okay so no item okay and if we uh, go and add one more we will see okay. okay so if we add two cards it will have one go home add again it will have two and go home add again it's gonna have three so 
everything works now. So this is all the features about uh, displaying the shopping cart. The source code is in the GitHub as usual. And uh, thank you for watching this video. See you. Bye bye.